Hi guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. It's been a while but basically this is a really exciting vlog and also kind of scary for me because I'm going on holiday by myself to Spain. Like I've only just finished packing. My Uber's seven minutes away to take me to the airport. It's currently like, what time is it, Lucy? 2.13. 2.13 in the morning, 2.13 a.m. I've not slept and yeah, I'm really excited to go. Um, I don't know what the weather's gonna be like. I'm going to Lorette de Mar and I hate flying on airplanes and I'm gonna be doing it by myself. So I'm kind of scared, but also really excited for this adventure. I'm in the airport and there's a massive queue. So, I might be here for a while. And I, um, our scales broke at home. So I've got no clue how much the suitcase weighs. So I really hope it's less than what's allowed. Because that would be awkward if not. So I did that queue. Now, it literally goes all the way down there. And that's just curious. Well, clip my bag it was just over but it just printed out the ticket that was the right and then it went through because i was dead panicked about that but yeah now i'm just in the queue for security and i'm through security see i'm not dodgy jo i went dodgy then i'm not dodgy now i am finally just in the airport bit um and i'm just i've got half an hour to get to my where my flight is and I need a wee, so I'm going to go for a wee first. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh look, that's the plane I'm getting on. So now is the scariest part, which is London. And <clears throat> I'm literally gripping on for the arrival. Yay, just got through the Spanish security and now ooh, got my suitcase and I've got to go and find the transfer from the airport to the hotel. I hope I can find them because a lot of things in here are in Spanish and I don't speak any Spanish. My transfer. It's not even that warm but it's just so nice to be here and the weather does cheer up a little bit. Yay, I'm checked in. I mean, it was a bit of a struggle because I basically went to this person's room, opened the door, and this old man and old woman, like not old, but well, basically, these two people was cuddling on the bed and I was like, hi. And they was like, hi. And I was like, um, sorry, they gave me this key, but I'll go and sort it, sorry. And then just shut the door. It's the most awkward encounter of my life. But now I've got my own room and I'm going to show you. This is the bathroom. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Shower, toilet, whatever that is. I don't know if you poo in it or like wash your feet. I don't know. I've heard multiple things. My suitcase I've just opened. Ta-da. It's very cute. And the best part is the balcony. Got a little table and chairs. And look, this is all the hotel that I'm into. So in there is where you get your food. There's an indoor swimming pool. There's this swimming pool. I'm now dressed up. Well, not really, but... Oh my God, I'm out of breath. I've just had to walk up some stairs. That's how unfit I am right now. But yeah, um, it's just perfect weather for this outfit. And I'm going to a little bar on the beach where you can watch the sunset. And it's kind of like glass windows on a cliff. So I'm really excited. Oh my God. It's actually stunning. I can see the um, bar that I'm going to now. It's just in front. But I just thought I have to stop and show you as the sea. Like, I don't really like beaches that much because sand just gets 
everywhere but in like any matter the sand's more stones um not these big ones there is like more sandy looking ones but they are like stones and the sea looks so nice guys look where i am i'm on that bit down there i'm literally that close to the sea i did not know that it was this sunny like i'm so glad jack told me to go it's literally there the place i'm going oh don't fall Ooh. so i'm going back there well up there now but yeah just wanted to come down and appreciate this little bit so close to the hotel it's like a 10 minute walk if that oh my god i'm just walking back from that little cute bar thing by the sea it was really nice to watch it all go dark and all the lights come on it was so cute i didn't actually get a drink because silly me you have to have cash and i've got a travel money card basically would it be my first day i haven't swapped uh, any of my money into actual cash from my travel money card so i couldn't actually get a drink but i just sat and watched the sunset anyway and it was really lovely just got back to the hotel now look at it at night time it looks so nice i'm gonna go for some tea so this is the food area and then you've got all your food here this is the first time i'm seeing it too all down here Ooh, that looks good and then got more it's very busy at this time desserts and stuff on there i think and fruit more foody stuff here drinks is milkshakes there and then more places to sit so i'm gonna have lots of options Ooh, in this cool i'm gonna have apple so I went for past, like spaghetti pasta, parmesan cheese and chips. I know I'm weird, but I just like it and it's plain and it's nice. I'm just chilling up in my room now. Look at the view, by the way. Like, how gorgeous is it that I just get to look out at this and just chill and take it all in? I'm not going to see entertainment or anything tonight just because I've not slept since... Um, Sunday night, Monday morning, because uh, I had my transfer at 2 a.m. Well, uh, I had to set off for my, to get to the airport at 2 a.m. And then my flight and da da da, and then I've come here. So I'm very, very tired. So I'm just going to chill and just take it all in that I'm here. So I don't really know why I'm talking to you in the mirror, but I guess I am. I'm going to go sleep now. Day number one has been amazing. I mean, a lot of it was the travel, which was kind of boring and annoying. But um, once I've got here, it's been really nice, but I am shattered. So I'm gonna hit the hay. Good morning. So it's now my day two here. So it's Wednesday. I go home on Saturday morning. And this is what I'm wearing. Just some little blue denim shorts with white flowers. San Francisco yellow top. And then I've put these little butterfly clips from Claire's into my hair to keep it out my face. I'm loving this outfit to be honest. It's giving summer holiday Spain vibes. The weather's a bit windy today so I might put on a jacket and I'm gonna go across to the main hotel and have a look around and stuff. But yeah, I'm just really happy to be here and happy that I'm here without all the traveling today. <laughs> Cause obviously yesterday I had to do all the traveling but then when I was here, I enjoyed it. I'm in the restaurant for dinner. I mean, I'm only half full, so I only get breakfast and tea but I just walked in and they just didn't say anything. So I'm having chips, Parmesan cheese and pasta again. It's just really nice. So it's now like 5 p.m. I've just put some leggings on instead of the shorts because I'm going to go to the main Loret de Mar beach, um, which is kind of the other way to where I went yesterday. And I'm just going to, you know, go and have a walk down there. And because it's starting to get colder and it gets dark at like half eight-ish, I thought I'll put my leggings on. So I'm on the way now to the beach. It's a totally different way to this one, but it's only like a five, seven minute walk no longer than that i've just gone in it's like some shops and stuff just gone in some of them i've got so far candices a little present um saw something that i wanted to get for tracy um then i've got ashley her presents and i've got my mum a little presents and i'm on the beach the skies aren't the nicest but this is what i meant when i said it's like little rocks 
Do you know what I mean? That's what the sand is like. So it kind of hurts a little bit, but it's very nice and pretty. I was told about the bars on this beach, meant to be really nice, but I actually can't see any, so maybe I've come to the wrong bit. Literally where I stood, just <clears throat> on the actual path, there was this really cute bar that I've come to. It's called Macondo, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and yeah, it's so cute. And I'm having a Blue Lagoon cocktail, which is vodka, peach snacks, blue caracol, I don't know how you pronounce that, and lemonade. And then this is my view. Ta-da! I'm literally sat having a cocktail. Well, I'm gonna be in front of the beach. It's so cute. And also because I got my dinner for free, I'm gonna use whatever money I would have spent on dinner. I'm gonna have some fries and chicken nuggets. <laughs> so me. Um, guys. Oh, look at my cocktail! How cute. My food chair. I'm back at the hotel now. I'm not gonna lie, that cocktail did make me feel very drunk, but shh, nobody has to know. It was only one cocktail, but it was the strongest drink I've ever tasted in my life. And it was so big, it was like three times the size of my hand, and my hand is like the size of my face, so three lots of my face were for drinks and it was really nice i went live on tiktok and spoke to everybody so that was lovely yeah, i feel a bit drunk <laughs> so now i'm just gonna have some snacks and watch some grey's anatomy and then go sleep morning it's thursday and i've just stepped out on my balcony and i'm not very happy look it's raining it's literally chucking it down so I think I'm gonna get dressed, run over to that bit and see what's happening. So I just walked in for dinner again. Today it's like little mini potato, like potatoes with parmesan cheese and pasta again. This is where the entertainment happens at night time. This is just like the bar room and where you sit. There's the bar. The main entrance is there, the reception's there and the restaurant is just next to the main entrance. Then I will now show you where the indoor pool is. So this is the outdoor one. Oh, it's still raining. Lovely jubbly. I'm still surprised that nobody's in the pool though. Like when, when I go on holiday with my family, we're always in the pool no matter what the weather. <clears throat> and if you come in here, you've got the outdoor toilets, the showers, and we check no one's in there. Oh the indoor swimming pool so yeah this pool is like heated and it's really nice so i went in there the other day i might go in there again today actually then once i come out there i literally just go across here this is my hotel block entrance but it's part of that hotel though still but They've just got that many different buildings. Put my key in. And in I go. So I'm gonna go and find a chemist and get some antihistamine because my nose is literally so blocked and tickly and like sore kind of. And yeah, my eye is, my eyes have gone very puffy and small, especially this one. So I think I'm gonna like add an allergic reaction to something. So I took my antihistamine like quite a while ago now and I really don't think that it's worked. My eyes are still all puffy and swollen and sore. I'm just gonna chill. I might go over and watch the entertainment here at the hotel tonight, but I don't really fancy going out anywhere too far because I actually look awful and I don't feel very good, so. So annoying. <laughs> I'm at the nighttime entertainment now, it's well cool. I think it's like a magic surface act. It's very cool, it's pretty packed in here, isn't it? Back at my hotel room now, gonna get some sleep and hopefully, fingers crossed, I wake up feeling a lot better tomorrow. Um, I wanna go, it's meant to be nicer weather tomorrow, I wanna go for a walk along all the shops, get my family some presents and go and explore some new places. So, fingers crossed, I'm up for it and the weather is up for it. Morning. I'm definitely feeling a lot better today. I've still got a headache and my eyes still look a bit swollen, but they're not really sore today. Um, so definitely feeling better. So I'm excited to go for a walk 
through Loret and get the last presents and stuff and just really chill. I want to go swimming again today, so I'll do that also. It took me a while to get dressed this morning because I realised it's my last day, so I only get to wear one more outfit. So I did this little thing on TikTok, I'll show you, showing these two and ask people to choose but I think I'm just gonna go with this one because I'm in it now and also it's a little bit cold still for the other one I think because the back's wide open and it is warm today but it's not like scorchio just had some dinner it was very nice I've done my online check-in for my flight home and now I'm gonna go look at some shops yeah, I might um, get changed into not shorts because I'm chafing a little bit. So I've bought the presents now and I'm just in Mackey's. I just had fries. They come in this like shake thing and you can put like this cheese powder on. It's sick. And Fanta. And even though it's the last day, I'm going to go and get my hair braided because on the way to Mackey's, this woman was like, oh, get your hair braided, get your hair braided. And then me being me, I was like, okay. And then she made me look through a whole book and then I was like, I just really need the toilet, so I'm going back in for a drink. And she's like, please come back. So now I feel really bad if I don't go back. So I'm going to go and get a braid. I don't know which one. So I got these braids on half my head. And then I got this, like, hair wrap. <laughs> Love the colours. I'm back now from doing my little shopping. And this is what I got for Christian and Molly. I mean, I'm most excited about them. There wasn't that much stuff to choose from, so it was really hard, but I think Christian's gonna love what I've got him. So I've got in this, which is like, makes the sound of like, fuck it. It's like a musical instrument, but he'll be able to do it himself. So I think he'll really like that. This. Sorry, it cut off. And then a little turtle painted maraca. So that's what I got Christian. And then for Molly, I got, <clears throat> I couldn't resist, a little Spanish dress. How cute is that? And then I've got the fan that came with it. A little clip for a hair. And then some little shoes. I got them in the smallest size, but they might be a bit big, but how cute. So this is the end of the last night. Um, I've got to pack up all my stuff into my suitcase and then I've got to get some sleep because I've got to be at the stop where the transfer bus picks me up at 5am. So, I'm going to pack up my stuff now and then I hit the hay. I said that on the first night, I think. But yeah, hit the hay and then I'm all ready to wake up super early and get on that transfer. It has been such a good holiday and i'm so glad that i got to vlog and let all you guys see it thank you so much for watching if you don't already then please hit the subscribe button here so then you can watch all my videos hit the gray bell so that you're notified every time i post and click to watch this video and this video love you guys remember to always be you Mwah.